Hey reptile people of the internet, Nixlin here to um, talk about Sumatran short tail pythons. These are one of my absolute favorite snakes. I got my first one at a reptile show when I was 15. I saw this thick black snake sitting on the table and I just had to have it ever since I've been hooked. Um, so I'm going to take a minute to talk about them and show you a couple varieties and talk about some things you should know. There's like three major things that you should know about short tails. Um, so anyways, the first thing you should know is they are not blood pythons. Blood pythons are Python brongersmi, and these are Sumatran short tail pythons, Python curtis. If I hear somebody call them a blood python, I am not afraid to correct them and tell them that these are short tails. They're different species. Um, and these guys come in four different varieties. I have three here to show you. This is the pumpkin head or yellow head version. Let's bring her over here. <laughs> so there's your pumpkin head or yellow or orange head. They do kind of vary a little bit um, the tone in their heads. I've seen all different shades. Um, and then there's a caramel albino and that is also a yellow head. Then we have chrome heads. These are both chrome heads, even though they look totally different. Um, this one's a particularly nice and light chrome head, and this is probably your more average chrome head. He's kind of dark right now. He's a little fired up. They will change their head colors depending on their mood or, you know, just different things. So he's dark right now. He can be pretty light. Let's see if we can see the other guy's head. Sometimes he's as light as this chrome head his head not the rest of his body um so we have chromes oranges and somebody here black black head is escaping what are you doing so here's the black head variety um they typically have way less brown and that head is just absolutely solid solid black so you can't even see her head because she's not cooperating what are you doing um, they shine like a blue iridescent if you catch them in the light just right. So, chrome, pumpkin, black. Black's going out. Black's going crazy. Um, it's frowned upon to breed pumpkin head with the chrome or black variety. They are just too different. All right, let me get this situation here. What are you doing? <laughs> um, the yellows are just too different of a little cat. Chromes and blacks you can breed together because you typically have chrome and black within the same clutch anyways. Um, like this blackhead, you can get that and this within the same clutch from parents that look like this, you know. But you don't, you don't breed the yellow with them. And you don't breed the caramel albino with them. Why is everybody running away on me? Um... So, like I said, first thing you should know is they're not blood pythons. Second thing you should know is they're not aggressive. You might hear them hissing at me a little bit, but that's about all they do. Um, they just need handled correctly. They don't hold on to you. They're kind of more like limp fish. And if you don't support their bodies, it does make them upset. And they get scared, and that's really all it is, they're scared. But as you can see, all mine are real, real tame. They're all real nice. The only time I've ever been hurt by them is feeding, feeding response. They have the craziest feeding response and they hit so hard. Um, so just don't stick your hands in a cage with a short tail python. Use a hook to get them out. That's what I always do just because I don't feel like getting a feeding response hit. Um, but like I said, they're, they're real nice. They just need time. They're not ball pythons. They need just a little more care when you're handling them. You can't just flip them around your neck and expect them to stay there. Um, so the third thing that you should know about them is they're not obese. That's what everybody loves to say on the internet when they see a picture of these is, oh, that's such a fat, obese snake. And no, that's just how they're built. Like greyhounds are long and sleek dogs and bulldogs are short and squat. These are just the bulldogs of the snake world. Um, they are just built to lay under the brush, under leaves, and wait 
for weeks, if not months, for something to come by before they strike. So, you know, they're not athletic. They're ambush predators. Um, that being said, they can get overweight. These are about the appropriate size. See, you can see and feel their spine, and that's what you want. I can very easily feel that spine, and there's just a little bit of fat that I can pinch. And that's an appropriate weight. They don't have a big fat booty, you know, it, it tapers off. It tapers off pretty well. Um, so, Sumatran short tail pythons are not blood pythons. They're not aggressive. And they're not overweight. They're really awesome snakes. Um, so I hope to do some more videos soon, kind of like this, maybe like a species spotlight. Um, just show you a few individuals and um, just talk about them for a second. Whoop! I really hope that this girl breeds for me this year because I love the blackheads and I have another blackhead male for her. Um, these guys, everyone's here all together. This one is a, is a father of a clutch in the incubator right now. And this one is a dad of an incubator uh, of a clutch that just hatched. Um, I'm not going to show you those females because they're still not very good looking. They got to put on some more weight and shed before they before they look real good again after giving me all those eggs. Um, so anyways, there you go. The Sumatra short-tailed python. And uh, you guys have a have a great day.